my name's Brittany and as we all know Mother's Day is coming up and I just thought it would be a really great way to show all you moms how appreciated you are by none other than reciting Proverbs 31 so here we go a wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies Although some rubies would be nice, am I right? Uh, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, <laughs> all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. Except when you leave all those little tidbits of beard hair in the sink, then I'm not too eager to clean that up, but you know, we know what they were saying. She is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still dark or a couple hours after it was dark. It's the same difference. I just forgot to talk about that part. She provides food for her family, bingo, and portions for her servant girls. All I know is if I had some little servant girls, I would be happy to give them a feast. But, you know, it's a different time. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. Huh? Yeah. Just, just change him and put it in a bag. Yeah, I know it's disgusting to put his diaper in a bag and save it for later, but the doctor wants me to check what is expelled from his body. He wants me to be real, real thorough with it. Okay. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household. Well... You know, it doesn't, doesn't really snow here, but I, I, can, I can relate it to other things like, you know, boiling hot sun. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Hey! Yeah, I know. Friday? <laughs> Heck yeah. I would love to. No, no, I barely have anything going on Friday. No. Uh, well, you know, Carson has school in the morning, and then, you know, it's the usual, you know, feed the kids, you know, wake them up, change their diapers, breakfast, probably need to change again, and then Carson uh, has school, uh, is out of school at 11, I'll go pick him up, home, lunch, nap, wake up, carpool, gotta go get the other kids from school at three um you know drop them off come home homework yeah with Cameron probably will be in a terrible mood after that then let's see we have Carson and Cameron both have a game on Friday night at six o'clock yeah both of them mm-hmm yeah I just spend like two hours walking back and forth from the park to, to see each game. Yeah, I, I swear I'd lose like five pounds a game if, if you know, I wasn't, if I wasn't eating fried Oreos the whole time. <laughs> no, no, they're actually really good. You just, you just take regular Oreos right out of the package and uh, you just, they, they like encapsulate them in some sort of high fat content batter and then they fry them in what I'm assuming is high fructose corn syrup. And then, then you take them out and you just, you just put a nice little sprinkle, a really good, more like healthy portion of a sprinkle of powdered sugar. And then you just eat them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they are probably just saturated in GMOs, MSGs, 
heck STDs for all I know, but they are delicious, am I right? Uh, anyways, but yeah, other than that, other than those, you know, 363 things, that's all I got going on. The game should be over at about, you know, like 8. Yeah, yeah, there's a showing at 11. Okay, 11, 11 p.m. Okay, all right. I will be dead asleep by that time, but uh, I'm game. I'll be there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just bring my blanket and a box of anti-crazy pills. Okay. All right, bye. Oh, goodness, that was my best friend. Um, wow, I mean, we are, I mean, talk about joined at the hip. Uh, I mean, goodness, we hang out just all the time. Uh, gosh, like probably at least once every two years. It's insane. I mean, everyone gets jealous and, you know, tell us to grow up, stop stop acting like we're in high school. But, you know, when, you, when you're best friends, you're best friends. And darn it, wouldn't you know it, I just lost my place. Cannot find it. You know what? I'm going to do how I do with my kids' nighttime bed story, where I um, I read the beginning of the story, and then I skip the middle, and then I read the end of the story. Except for sometimes, I skip the end and only read the beginning, because, you know, I mean, kids are... They, they get so tired and, you know, they don't even want to, to hear the whole story. Which I actually, now that I realize I already read the beginning of Proverbs 31, so we're done. Just hope you mothers out there enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you leave encouraged and empowered and that you are just reminded what a great mom you are. Try not to cry at all today, okay, you know? Happy tears are, are okay. Well, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.